I'm about to show you the best build for the Brigantine for both Cutthroat and for the uh, Helm Wagers. So the Helm Wagers, as you know, is uh, where you're collecting your coins. And when you've collected your coins, you're going to want to have to run away from people and also be able to deal damage to keep them off your back. Well, the, in this build video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that and exactly what ship to be using, why, and what weapons, plus furniture. Furniture are massive. So without further ado, let's go to the dock and let's go over everything. So once you're here, make sure you go to your ship. Now, the ship that we are using is we are using the Brigantine. Now, there are many of ships that are amazing in this game. Like, my personal favorite ship in this game is actually the Snow. But it's not the greatest for wagers. Maybe it will be, but there's going to be another video coming out for that. But what we're using in this video is we're going to be using the Brigantine. And as you can see, it's a DPS ship and it has got Bullhorn. But that's not the main reason we're using this. The main reason we're actually using this is simply because of its speed and trimming speed. Now, if you look at every single other ship, not one come close to the speed. They're all rather slow compared to the Brigantine. And if you played the beta, you know if someone had the Paddle Khan... Uh, not the Pyromania, not that one, the Padawakan, because they had the extra speed over everyone else, um, you could never catch them. But that's basically what's happening now with the Brigantine. If you've got the Brigantine and you've got all that speed, people cannot keep up with you. And especially with a couple of furniture items. So, as you would know in, in Cutthroat and Helm Wagers, you're always on the move. You're, you, if you're doing the Cutthroat, you've got to get the map. And when you've got the map, you've got to try and get to X location. You've got to try and get there really quick. And then you've got to try and dock before anyone else kills you. Um, and if you're in a slow ship, well, then you're going to have loads of people coming after you. But if you're in the Brigantine, well, then you've... Unless you're against other Brigantines, you aren't going to have anyone keep up with you. So the Brigantines are the best for this, for the movement side of things, and uh, for escaping. But there's a few ways we can get the upper edge on other Brigantines in this game. Because of, as you can imagine, a lot of people are going to be using this. But we need to know how to set it up and what to use and what to set it up with in order to have the upper edge. So in this case, we're going to go to Manage Ship. And when we're going to start off with weapons. So the weapons I'm using for the front and the rear are the long nines. Now the reason I'm using the long nines is because of the first perk that you see there. Yes, for one, they do a lot of damage and they've got a lot of range. So for the front, it's when people are in front of you and you're chasing them down because they've got the map or they've got the wager and you're hunting them down. The first perk is insane. It deals 7,000 damage after the torn sail effect is applied. Now the long nines only need to hit the sails clean four times in order to apply that effect. So every, just under 20 seconds, every 18 seconds, these long nines are tearing their sails. When they're torn their sails, yes, they do recover really quick because they're in a brigantine themselves. But it just closes that gap, that gap, that gap ever so slightly, just so you can catch up with them. And not only that, you're also dealing damage. And if you ever tried hitting someone's ship while it's moving quite far away from you as well, it's really hard. But if you ever tried hitting their sails... It's really easy. So for one, that's great. It's got piercing free. So it's obviously got more damage to weak points. But it's also got tearing. So increased damage by 50% when hitting sails. So yet again, perfect for a ship that's either escaping you or behind you. Because if they're behind you, you want to be tearing their sails as much as possible to make them drift further and further and further behind you. It's absolutely perfect for that. And then obviously, yet again, it's got the piercing. So if you do hit their hole, you're going to hit there. And you hit their weak spots, you're going to do extra damage. Moving on to the second weapons. Now, there are multiple choices for these. Um, but these are probably going to be the best set, in, set weapons for the side, which are the Dar Danalees guns. I believe I said that right. Um, and it's simply because you don't have to worry too much about the side damage. If you're going forwards and you tilt slightly to the side, you can quickly let these rip and then carry on straight on your path. So you can keep just switching side to side. If you're on a straight line, just quickly give yourself a small degree and another small degree the other way and just keep firing your long nines, your dardleys on one side, your long nines, your dardleys on the other side. Just keep doing that. So kind of doing like a serpentine heading to where you're going. Trying to keep the line as straight as possible, but also being able to pump out as much damage as possible in a very short time. This is absolutely great for all that. Um, and and uh, yeah, the Dardleys, they add 30% explosive damage and they've got a huge damage and explosive damage and they all fire at the same time. So yet again, because they all fire at the same time, you don't have to focus so much on being on one side each time, just letting off four shots like the Fire Bombards. The Fire Bombards are really good. So if you don't have the Dards, then go ahead and put the Fire Bombards on. And if you don't have the Fire Bombards, then I would actually go and use the Flood and Demi Cannons. Now the Flood and Demi Cannons are hard to use because you have to be really, really close to the enemy ship. So if you're in rivers and you're doing like an East Indies uh, sort of 
of get away with the flood damage cannons are going to be absolutely godly but in a normal overall status if you're on the run or you're chasing the dards are probably going to be really good as well because they've got a good amount of range they've got a lot of damage and you're shooting all four of them consecutively and because you've got the brig you've got four top deck slots um obviously you've got the most all deck slots on the brig because you've got eight overall you've got four top four bottom so the floods will hit the hardest out of every gun in the game but or you could use zamzamas let's say but in this case we're going to be using these because we don't really want to be offsetting ourselves too much and um, then for the auxiliary i'm using leopold so this is going to be a deterrent as well so yes it's probably got the most damage rockets are insane if people are close to you they are absolutely broken but it's really hard to hit your shot especially if you're in rocky seas and um, the safe option for everyone to use the leopold but if you're good with the rockets then you will dominate the the apps at the world by a lot but they're very hard to use now the leopold as you can see it's got huge flooding uh, damage huge explosive damage this is great as well to make them swerve out the way and to to make their distance to travel from one point to the other a lot longer because they're constantly trying to dodge that so that's that in terms of weapons now if we go over to armor the armor I'm using is the Royal Custodian. Now, I've got the Black Prince, and obviously soon you're going to have the Ouroboros, but I think the Royal Custodian is perfect, especially for the, the, the getaways and the chase downs, uh, mainly because if you go to the details of it, you've obviously got very good armor, and you've got a good all-along-the-board uh, protection against statuses, so explosive, flooding, fire, and piercing, um, and it applies a fortified effect for 12 seconds after using a repair kit, which increases armor by 35%. Now... If you're in a fight in PvP, you're going to be using repair kits quite a lot. But this effect is absolutely broken paired up with repair kit 1. So it applies a fortified effect for 12 seconds after using a repair kit. Did you know that if you go into your cargo and you look at your repair kit 1, it's only got 6,000 whole health, but you can use that every single 20 seconds. This is absolutely broken because if you pair this with that... That means every 20 seconds, for 12 seconds of those, you're getting extra 35% armor. I know you're only getting 6,000 health, but if you were to use a repair kit too, you're only getting 18,000 health. And having 18,000 health is not going to work as good as this because this cooldown is 60 seconds, or is it 40? But I believe it's 60, 60 seconds for this. So this is 60 seconds to use free, and this is 60 seconds to use one. But this, you only get the perk for 12 seconds out of a whole 60 seconds. Whereas this, you get the perk for, for what, 36 seconds out of a whole minute. This is so broken for this method. Let me go ahead and chuck them into the warehouse. We do not need them. I don't actually need these. So let me go chuck them in the warehouse. We'll just keep what we got on us. And, uh, yeah, so we want to be using the repair kit one with that. And while I'm here, actually, in the cargo, I might as well go over food. So the main food I'm using for uh, the Helm Wagers and, obviously, the cutthroats are the Sassay Cambings. And the reason is because it reduces trim crew stamina, uh, it reduces brace stamina, and it restores stamina regen by 50%, which is absolutely huge. You could use other ones, uh, but I really like the Satin Cambin for this. And then food, we just want... Uh, the best grilled food we can get really i'm going to be using this because you can get so much of it and i've got quite a lot of it as you see the difference between the fish and that's five percent but obviously 45 percent of your stamina it is quite huge to be able to almost charge it up by half just by having this and then you pair it up with a certain furniture and you actually get more so it's really good and then you want to also be wary of water barrels and water flasks these are huge in a fight if you haven't got any water barrels and make sure you've always got water flasks you can obtain two of them every time you go to an outpost and it just basically increases your sailing speed but this increases it by 15% whereas this only increases it by 10% if you keep popping these on every 20 uh, sorry every i believe it's what 40 seconds for 20 seconds you're going to be constantly ahead of them in terms of speed so make sure you've got plenty of them and you also want to make sure you've got restoration kits so if they do tear your sails or anything like that you can pop one and keep moving as quick as possible and get back to it so going back to the managed ship we want to go to the furniture and the furniture we've got is the water tank so the water tank reduces crew stamina depletion by 50 percent while bracing and increases stamina recovery by 20 percent this is huge especially if you're doing cutthroats and that because you're going to be getting hit and you're going to want to reduce your crew stamina depletion by well, the, as much as possible while you're bracing because you need to be keeping that stamina because you need to be keeping that momentum the longer that you slow down the longer you stay idle the better chance they've got of getting catching up to you and actually ruining you and damaging you and it also increases stamina recovery by 20 percent at the same time so you know what a beauty now um the reason, just as some of you might ask, why aren't you using the rope locker? Because it increased acceleration by 300%. Correct. But only increases 300% acceleration when you've got full stamina. How often do you have full stamina on your ship? 
zero to, to like to none and if i go to the next furniture slot we've got the balance mask one increase acceleration and deceleration by eight percent that's huge we've got the lever rope grip so it recruit reduces crew stamina depletion when trimming sails by 15 percent. so if you don't know what um trimming is if you were to look at your chart at the bottom of when you're gathering speed you've got like three gears you've got one two and three now the first and the second are just your normal sails but the third is actually trimming and that is where you use all of your stamina because if you're on the first and second you don't actually use your stamina but the third you do use your stamina so we want to reduce that as much as possible so we can trim for as long as possible and brace for as long as possible to be able to get out of a fight and get in front of people and get away from people most importantly if we look at the furniture slot uh four I've got increased acceleration by 13%. So if we pair that up with uh, with number two, we've got 21% acceleration with 8% deceleration increased, uh, which is really good. And then for my last bench slot, I've got increased maximum stamina by 7%. You know, you have got max hold health by 5%. But the whole health by 5% is only giving you an extra 2,000 whole health. Whereas the stamina is absolutely huge. And yet again, it keeps us moving. So that is the whole ship. Oh, and while I'm here, a lot of people have been asking in the comments, what cosmetics am I using on my ship? So the sail uh, is a sweet nothings. I got this from Killing Ghost Ships. And out of one of his boxes, he dropped that. Uh, the pattern I am using is a content creator set. You actually got that from Twitch Drops. You can't probably get that anymore. Uh, you can, I believe, actually, until the 28th of February. If you watch people for up to three hours, you can still get that. Uh, and then I've got the Sir Reginald Grimm, which you get from the store right now for 7500 in the welcome pack until that's gone. Now, if I look at my figurehead, I've got the skull with the torch. If I look at my... Pardon me. Woo! I've got to see people's ways set. Now, you can't get this anymore. Wait. No, yeah, you can get this. You can still get this on Twitch as well. Wait. Yeah, you, I believe you can. Um, and then I've got the Ashen Corsair set on the ornaments. Uh, I've got the um, Ashen Corsair set on the back. I've got the Ashen Corsair set, set on the steering wheel. I've got the Ashen Corsair set on my helm decor. I've got the uh, Compen and Garbs as my sail sailors because I don't really like the Ashen Corsair set with this ship because it's blue. But it is a cool set regardless. I'm using the Snow Leopard Sheldon cap, which you got from watching Twitch on the open beta. While we're on the topic of Twitch, by the way, I'm going to be streaming as of the first of... Uh, sorry, not the first... The day, the first day season one drops, which is Tuesday the 27th. I've, I've uh, managed to partner up with Ubisoft and they've given me uh, drops for Twitch. So thank you to Ubisoft for that as well. Um, come over to my Twitch stream. I definitely show the ears are free on the 27th, which is the Tuesday. I'll be trying to go live as many evenings as possible. I can't guarantee what evenings, but I definitely know that Tuesday I will be going live on Twitch on I definitely show the ears are free. And all you have to do is be in the stream for two hours to claim the drops. There's two rewards that are coming out. So just jump in two hours, watch it, get that. You don't have to listen to me if you don't want to. I, I, I could literally be sitting there AFK and you can just jump in for your two hours and claim your rewards. The the one thing I would say though with it is you have to have your volume on. So yes, I do talk a lot, but I would say just put it down to 1% if you don't want to hear me talking and you just want to claim the rewards. Do as you wish, but come over to my Twitch and claim yourself them rewards. They're completely free and I'll be having them on for you. So I definitely shy it is a free. On my uh, trophy, I'm using the Ashen Corsair set. As my um, Crow's Nest, I'm using the Ashen Corsair set. And my fireworks, I've got all these free equipped. Now, how do you get the Ashen Corsair set? You're probably asking. Well, the Ashen Corsair set you get from the premium edition of the game. Now, the best way I would say for you to obtain it, as well as the jacket I'm wearing. The jacket I'm wearing was from pre-order. But in order to claim the Ashen Corsair set, if you don't have the premium edition, would just be simply to subscribe to Ubisoft Plus for one month. Now, I don't know if it remains after one month because no one's told me that yet. But I do know if you get the Ubisoft Plus, which is £14.99 a month, you get that. You get all the premium editions and apparently you get the pre-order jacket. Don't hold me to the pre-order jacket. I don't know about that. But I definitely know that you do get all the premium contents. You get all the Ashens. You get the special pet monkey and you get the outfits. And you get all that really cool stuff for your ship. So, £14.99. Ubisoft Plus for one month, claim it all, have it all on your ship, look really cool, and then go back to having the full game rather than having to upgrade fully to the premium edition. That's something I could recommend. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a cutthroat uh, quest, and when one appears, I'll get back to you, and we'll go ahead and do it. Or, better yet, let's go and do a Helm Wager. Um, as the title of this video is the Helm Wager, and let's see if I can get one from just uh, going around and accepting them so let's quickly do this 
I'm going to fast travel. Sorry, the reason I come back to dock is because I wanted to fast travel and I accidentally hit set sail because I couldn't see what I was looking at because the blimmin' thing keeps popping up on my screen. Please, Ubisoft, fix the place of the overlay. I'm going to fast travel here and start this route and just try and do a simple helm wager um, so we can... Uh, Get this rocking and rolling and get some extra coins. So Helm Wages as well, if you don't know what they are. Basically, it's you go ahead and collect your coins from your empires. And every now and again, randomly, I think it's only once a day, you'll get a proc saying, uh, do you wish to double or nothing? And if you double or nothing every time you go around collecting your coins from all your slots, you'll double up the amount of coins that they've got. So if I look at this, it's got 138. Well, then I'll get my 270, whatever the number is, 76. 276 just from picking up that there and then it will just keep doubling up doubling up doubling up doubling up and you can go around do it all and get back and have so flipping much money so let's see if we can get that to prop i don't know if we will but i'm going to try to see if i can um let me go and equip my food wrong button death wish go cargo click my satay eat that now that I've got that, I've got the stamina regen, stamina efficiency, stamina uh, efficiency again for bracing. The only negative about this, guys, is when you do a, either this or the cut throw, you will be having people come after you. You immediately turn into PvP. So do this at your own risk. You're going to get hunted down for sure. That's why I've made this build so you guys don't have to worry about getting hunted down. Um, unfortunately, there it didn't proc. It is random. It is completely random. I wish there was a way that you could make it proc. Maybe they give you uh, a, a choice where you get to do it once a day. So how you do it or where you do it is completely up to you. That would be fire. But, you know, it is what it is. We can't. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, we've got to roll with the punches. And maybe in the future they'll improve it. If I had one uh, thing that I could say to him, I would definitely say do that. Because that is uh, something that probably really helped. Okay, that didn't hit. So, where is his trajectory? Brace that. And it's quickly hit. Oh, I missed. Just so you can see the dars. Look how much damage they do because they fire together. And then I've got my long nines on the back. And then I hit him with my other dars on the other side. Bam! He's gone. Right. Please, Helm Wager, appear. Because I really want to show it in this video. If you have any other questions or any other builds as well, make sure you leave them in the comments down below because I'm always reading the comments. I try and reply to as many comments as possible. I do see all of them, but to... Rep oh, no! No! It appeared and I pressed B. Oh, no, because I was backing out of the interact. I literally went to interact and I tried backing out. As you can see at the bottom, it's back. And I backed out of the Helm Wager event. So I didn't manage to proc it. No, what an absolute donut. Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully it pops again in these next ones. Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious. No way. That is so rubbish. Right, let me quickly unequip this, though. Because on here, I want to put my uh, repair kits ones. And here, I want to put my cycled repair kits. Where are my repair kits? That one. So I'm always going to have my big repair kit there. Ooh. I'm going not where I want to be going. Please, please, Helm Wager, appear again. Because that, that was too shameful. I can't believe I just missed out on that because I was just backing out. And I cut it off. No shot. I can't believe it. Well, it, maybe a cutthroat appears while I'm doing this. And I can show you the cutthroat if the Helm Wager doesn't appear. At least that way I get to show you one version of the PvP event. And me doing it, at least. Um, I've got the driest mouth ever because I don't shut up. Uh, so I am sorry as well if I do give you a headache with how much I talk. But it is what it is. Uh, love you all. And, uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying the video so far. What's your favourite video that I've made so far? Is there any other videos that you want me to cover? Any other tips and tricks that you might have? I'll give you a shout-out and uh, I'll put it out there. No, we didn't proc again. Um, so, yeah, let's. Uh, if you've got anything and you want to share it to the community, chuck it in the comments down below as I go through and read them all. I'll make the video so I can bring your video to life and uh, help the community out even more. So, let's just see if we can get this helm to... There's no cut for it. I think the cutthroat appears after these disappear. So, are these starting? They're starting in one minute. So, maybe not. I thought that we would at least see one. Well, I was going to say we, I thought we'd at least see a Helm Wager. We did. We blimmin' cut it off. If we haven't got one by the time we got back to St. Anne, well, then I'll end the video. But you get the gist. The build is really good. Um, <laughs> I just can't show it in flipping action. What a donut. 
I like to keep these videos rolling as well rather than uh, chopping and changing it and editing it and making it so unsatisfying. It's just so much easier, I believe, which I've noticed because I used to edit quite a lot and I've watched them videos back and I thought when you edit so much, it actually gets very distracting with all the cuts and edits and I think it's so much cleaner just to have something run all the way through. <gasps> no! No! Right, I need to pay attention. I need to pay attention. Oh, I just hit my forehead pretty hard. But I need to pay attention. Right. When I get to the next one, I am not going to press a single flipping button. And just try and see if it pops up. I'm going to give it a second and then do it. Oh my jeez. I've done it twice. I've done it flipping twice. hey -o. Well, looking forward to seeing you on Twitch on Tuesday, eh? And it's going to be quite interesting. I wonder what challenges we're going to do. Maybe take on a Fort 10 with Dowies. Is anyone down to do that? I mean, that sounds pretty cool. I don't, I don't know if they're called Dowies or they're called Dows or whatever they're called. The blimmin' dinghies, are the little stupid ships, and you get spears. I want to see if we can take on a Fort, like Fort Deloise, with them. That'd be quite hilarious. We're going to need quite a lot of you. I think we'll try and get a full server uh, where you all add my Ubisoft name, and we'll go in there and we'll try and take them all out. Right, I'm not pressing anything, not pressing anything, not pressing anything not pressing anything no right damn it okay let's move to the next one hopefully we get something appear on this next one that was a good amount of coins that i got from that one but 560 just from that one alone so level sevens mate they can hold some coin what have i got coin on me 1367 just from this small run without even having full locations let's go back to the helm have we on the map got any cutthroat cargoes appearing i can't see any cutthroats so let's pull in over here. Let's see what this doc's saying. Please, 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 on the last one, let us do it. Because I'm an idiot. Right. Holding B. Not pressing anything. Not pressing anything. Not pressing... Oh, I've got to collect it. Not pressing anything. Oh, no. Right. I'm going to go ahead and do all my coin collections over the other side of the Red Isles. Let me quickly go and hand these in. And then I'm going to do a collection all the way along this middle part. And hopefully somewhere here we can get it to proc. I mean, if it's already proc twice, it's probably going to proc again in the time we've gone and collected all of them. I don't know where along the line, but it's probably going to. So let's uh, see this in action and <laughs> see what we can do with it. Uh, sorry, guys, that this video is going to be so long. I just, yeah, I need to show it off. Otherwise, it's just going to be absolutely pointless. It's like, well, you're telling us about build, but you're not showing us how this build works. Yeah, for one, you have to accept the helm wages. Otherwise, the helm wager build doesn't work. What an absolute donut. Right, let's uh, fast travel up. Fast travel. Let's go here. <laughs> oh my days oh my days what an absolute donut right let's set sail let's uh, also have a look at what's going on in the map do we have a cutthroat no we don't have a cutthroat do we have 2000 coins yes we do let me quickly just upgrade one of these i'm trying to get all of these to level seven that's got three hours on it how long has that gone it's got three hours on it let me upgrade one of these to seven as well i'm trying to get all of these to level 10 because of the highest uh tax bracket uh, percentage and uh, that means they're always going to produce me the most coins from having the trade route maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm not wrong who knows that's uh, what i'm presuming why is he doing like a nolly that's pretty cool um a nolly a nose manual Nose man, got him out of touch with skateboarding. Right, I'm stopping. I'm not pressing anything. Not pressing anything. No, no luck. Right, let's keep moving. Let's keep her moving. Right, we got our waters, and we got our extra foods if we need it. Dang it! Press the helm. Still no cutthroats. That's them doing the legendary heist. This is a level four down here as well, so I'm quite quite happy with this one. Come put your sails down. Let's get some extra. Oh, let's get some torn sails on you. Let's get some flooding on you because you're gonna have to turn. Bam! He's gone. Wait, did he just crash into a ship? He did, didn't he? He just. Wow. Okay. Well, them dars do so much damage. You just see all of that just rip 
through him. There was like no issue whatsoever there. I keep looking at the map. The only reason I keep looking at the map, guys, is because I want to see if a cutthroat appears. If a cutthroat appears and the wage don't. It's basically the same thing. You've got something. You're in a PvP event. One's for a treasure map. One's for your coins. But at least you can go ahead and uh, do it and move on with it. So let's collect. Not pressing anything. Not pressing anything. Not pressing anything. It hasn't appeared. Damn. Right, let's keep moving. And let's do my route. At least on this way as well, you can see my route and you can see whether I'm collecting it. And uh, you can see how I'm doing it. Um, I do the two routes only because I've got it like this. There is actually a really, really good route that I'm going to have to show you soon. Um, but I'm not going to show that until I've got my East Indies unlocked. When I've got my East un Indies unlocked, uh, then I'll be showing you the best route probably in the game to go ahead and do. But for now, we're going to go ahead and do this and just try and get this Helm Wager done. I'm going to give you a second to, to think, gather your thoughts and breathe a little because I've been talking quite a lot. And I, um, Helm Wager started. Oh, we're going to just chase him down. That's what we do. Oh, he's got 30k coins. That's all his friends, isn't it? That's going to be all his friends. Oh, no. Right, let's go and head our coins back in. But he's got 30,000 coins in him. That means if we could kill him... We will get 30,000 coins. But them other two in the party, the participants, are probably his friend or friends. So, that's pretty broken. I mean, the people at the top of the leaderboard are probably all doing this. They've probably all got a, a bunch of people on a stream joining them. So, no one else can actually affect them. They can travel around the whole map and just keep gathering pieces of eight. And they can get hundreds of thousands of the stuff. And no one's going to be able to get to the top eight. It's just them that are just sitting there comfortably at the top. He's right there with it. So we can see where he is. He's got a friend that's going to dock over here to come and help him, I believe. And uh, we're going to try and disrupt that. I need to get my pieces of eight out of here. Um, so I can then go and chase him down. Because otherwise I'm going to constantly have pirates coming after me while I'm trying to hunt him. And that's not going to be fun. But, do you know what? I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to chase him. We add more pirates to the pot. Well, then it's just going to make it harder for everyone, isn't it? And that's probably just going to be perfect. So, where is he? He's there. Where is he going, is the question. Is he going there, or is he go he's going there? Oh, wow, why have I got the blimmin' wind against me? Come on, let me get your 30k coins. This would be so flipping glamorous to do so. I don't know this Gilly, Von, whatever it is. Normally, so normally this is going to be really hard, guys. The only reason I say this is really hard is because they all team up in this game. And I don't know if you've played it enough to realise. And when they team up, you've got almost zero chance of taking them down. It just makes the game so hard. Especially when I've got this blooming wind against me. I can't even move. Come on. I don't even know if I'm going to get him in sight. Right, that's him over there. He's in the snow. Oh. So he's going to be an absolute tank. And his friends are coming for me. Look, here we go. They're all teaming up together. That's the only sad thing about this game is they get a whole lobby with all their team and all their friends. And then they all come and kill you. Keep him alive. And you don't really have much chance. Guys, let us know what you think of this. And like, do you think this is fair that they can sit a whole party of four and then you've got no chance of even being able to, to attack them to get their coins? What, what is your actual thoughts and opinions on that? Because I feel like this is uh, game-breaking. Um, it's just making it an unfair advantage. just making the PvP completely out of touch. I believe they should be able to have one friend in there. Not all friends. It's just uh, it's just going to make it so you're never going to be able to get top of the leaderboard with the points. That's my opinion on it. Obviously, 
let me know yourselves. I've got a thousand range on this cannon, so he's in a snow. Should be able to catch him. But I don't know if he's docking now. Oh no, he's getting hit. He's getting hit. Okay, he's getting hit. Who are we after? Parise. Parise. That dude. Why have my sails decided they want to drop? Oh, wow. they got healing ships with them. Yeah, there you go. Look, his teammates helping him. That's just trash, man. They need to fix that, like, now. they got someone healing, someone attacking. Uh, it's just, like... <sighs> so, Helm Wagers is a bit of a write-off, unless you've got a team. They obviously know what they're doing, because they've gone ahead and done it like that. You do as you want. You can see the damage I was dealing. Uh, there was no way of actually taking him down there. He had so much coin, but there was no way of getting the coin from him. But regardless, this is... You can see the damage I was doing. Uh, the best build for you as a solo. Um, if you're in a team, well then, yeah, you're just going to have to mix it up. Someone's going to have to have a tank. Someone's going to have to heal. And uh, you're just going to have to keep going about it like that. So anyway, hopefully this video helps. Hopefully this build is good for you. Like, follow, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.